How do y'all like explosions? I like explosions. I like a lot of explosions. What about you, Ben? Do you like explosions? Or is that not Ben? Is that Poe? You love expansion explosion? Yeah. Our hour needs to be like midnight hour. Mulligan to five. I kind of like these odds. Since we have ramp. First draw. The fact that we're hitting like no no land drops in our 27 land deck, super fun. We want our second blue to cast Thesis Intervention. Land. Baby Chewy, thank you so much for tuning in to Fierce Ferret Radio. Welcome to the uh, Ferret Squad, buddy. Like, this is the Nissa turn, so I think I just hold off and make them uh, not have it. Like that. Like, this This is definitely... You have to pay two mana. I am so loath to do this because they probably have Nissa now, right? I mean, they might not have anything. It'd be sweet if they didn't have anything. Right? But here we go. Okay. That's, that's nothing. I like that. Don't have another elemental, please. No. Please don't. Can you just not have anything? Thank you. All right. No attacks. One. Two. Three. Four. Five. Six. Nope. I want to draw two cards, and I want them not to have Risen Reef. I know that looks really, like, loose, but I need the card draw. I, I need them to not ramp up like that. That's It's real bad. They haven't had anything the last few turns, so, like, I have to play the long game. No, it's Krasis! Fuck me. Oh, Krasis is such a tilt. You love Risen Reef? Yeah, well, Krasis. Yep, cool. They get to draw three. I mean... Card should have been banned ages ago. I hate Krasis. Because uh, it just reloads traditional. Uh... Yep. Back in your hand. They attack with the Krasis, so I'm gonna summon Uro next turn, I think. Do 
All right. Honestly, there's there's no no anything here, so it's fine. All right. Um. Yep. Yeah. God, and that crisis they mowed to five, and that crisis unbricked their hand. Think about that. Shut up, top deck grazer. Uh. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Uh, that's actually pretty good, huh? Because I can kill a bunch of their stuff. Okay, yeah. That's that's fine. This is something, at least, you know? Do not have another crisis. Please, God. Please. Animate that land, baby. There we go. We're going to animate that land. Oh, they don't even get to animate the land. That's the best part. So they can get her back. One, two, three, four, five. But they won't be able to do anything. And if they attack with the Krasis, we're just going to... We're going to block and then wipe the whole board. All right, so this is really imperative what happens next. Who's attacking? All right, you know what? I think I don't block because we're really far ahead. And that block from them was real loose. We're going to kill their Nyssa. Then we're going to Storm Wrath everything so their lands are down creature. They're... Yeah, I, I should have actually just not have fished that out. That was on me. Okay. Yeah, that was That was a mistake on my part. I, I was wondering, like, what, what can they block with? I was just figuring out stuff in my head. All right, as long as they don't top deck another crisis, I think we're good. Land? Land is good. There! Now we are thoroughly ahead. Because now whatever they play, we can face is in- Yeah! Yes! Ugh! Woo! Woo! That was some counterplay. Man, they mulliganed to five and, like, would have had us if we didn't drew that Storm's Wrath. Yeah, you're right. I Listen, Storm's Wrath is a new card, so it's throwing me off, but you're totally right. I could have just, uh, yeah. Could have just dealt more damage in that regard. I don't think Hydroid Crisis is the must here. Unfortunately, Brazen Borrower doesn't feel like it's a good fit because it's just going to, uh, to die to most things. And I don't really want to bounce a lot of their stuff back, so what do we got here?
Yeah, Storm's Wrath feels like an excellent inclusion to anything red to deal with planeswalkers. Yeah, you're totally right. I could have just um, done that and flashed in the other things. Yeah, I'll keep this. Real good hand. They're probably on the counterspell plan, right? You're gonna counterspell this? Yeah, sure, I'll take that. You got another one? Oh, you didn't? That didn't really slow me down? We're not playing uh, Wilderness Reclamation into anything. We want to... This is their, we're going to play Nissa turn, so we want to be able to counterspell that. Hey, would you look at that? All right, would you look at that? Isn't that wonderful? Uh, I love it. You, you hate to see it, man. You hate to see it. <laughs> we don't have a second red for Storm's Wrath, so let's, uh, yeah. Normal brain dead climber. Hey, like I don't want to, I don't want to insult our opponent. I mean, unfortunately, Simic is pretty linear in what it does. Does this feel like it's worth counterspelling? I think it is. Is it? Like I could just, I could just scry for an expansion explosion, right? All right, I'm going to chance it. I will aid you. All right, so we're going to we're going to go for this. Um 1 2 3 4 5 6 7. So we get a look at four cards. No, I wanted five. God damn it. Do not have do not There we go. These are two wonderful cards for us. You're going to Aether Gust that? Return to nature. Okay. Okay. That does suck a little bit. I think I just wrath this and then wrath it again next turn. Right? Like, that feels like the play. Okay, they don't have anything there or else they would have tapped for mana. Right? Alright, let's, uh... Get another blue here. Let's uh, get rid of their Nissa. Let's Uro. Man, this this card is so funny. Like just like we did two for one, but we got two land creatures out of her and a Nissa, and now we have an Uro which can eat a lot of their stuff. What's the last TV show I've been? Supernatural. Oh hey, look everybody. I think we're thoroughly in garbage time.
Yeah, the auto tapper is kind of uh, borked right now. What do you got? What do you got? Yeah. <laughs> You're crying internally at that. Feels good. Hey everyone, thanks so much for watching our video. Now to give a special shout out to our sponsor tier patrons. Neji Kuma, we appreciate all the support you give to us. You keep the channel growing and the content flowing. If you want to be alerted to when we post a new video, make sure to ding that bell next to the subscribe button. If you like the content you see here, then consider tossing us a follow on twitch.tv forward slash fierce ferrets. And if you're really feeling the ferrety love, please consider supporting our work at patreon.com forward slash fierce ferrets. We don't make any money here on YouTube, so we rely on the generosity of our Twitch and Patreon subs, listed in these credits here, to bring more quality entertainment to you. And you'll get some great rewards for helping out. Thanks again, friends. And we'll see you next video.